absolutely not the way I wanted to start the year off, but sunset or indigo snake has an impaction. I don't know if you can see it here. Of course you can see it. You're watching on a video. You see how it bumped out right there? I'm guessing that's some kind of impaction. My hope is that it's not from, well, I don't know. I My guess is that it's from a substrate getting caught in there. You know, that I'll show you after. I gotta run to the vet. Here, come on, let's go. My vet, my usual vet that I go to for snakes is not in, and this is kind of an emergency situation, so yes, it is still raining. So luckily this other vet was available just barely. They said if you can get here 30 minutes from now, 30 minutes from now, then we can, we can see him. And to me, this seems like kind of an emergency situation. I don't know how long, I'm just hoping for the best here. Some reason black snakes have bad luck our last trip to the vet junior black snake dark snake i'm sure obviously it's just a coincidence but my point is this sucks i hate when something's wrong with an animal it blows hopefully we can get this figured out that would be great So, so I drop my, I'm, I'm vlogging, my, it's my sister's birthday, so we're, we're I've got a call in here. These, these guys are being ridiculous. I'm gonna have to turn them down so I can talk to you guys for a minute. Anyway, I'm gonna turn them down so we don't, you don't have to hear them. I've been in, uh, now we, now we have to, now we, now I can see them, but I can't hear them. I'm in the parking lot. Uh, junior has been, Junior, skill scarred from Junior and the uh, vet trips. Sunset has been yes i put you on hold <laughs> sunset's in there he's gonna get checked out and then uh doctor will call me later he's gonna get an x-ray and all that see what the lump is and then we'll, we'll come back and <laughs> stop so great to have phone conversations with bray let me tell you man gonna put you on hold and then i'm just gonna lead you on but put you on the floor and now i'm gonna talk to myself in front of you Happy birthday! <laughs> so I'm back home. Uh, sunsets, staying at the vet. I've got two hypotheses. I don't know if I told you this morning before I left. It was all hectic. I wasn't planning to go to the vet today. Either he swallowed a piece of that substrate because, you know, he's got the compressed newsprint stuff in there that expands when it gets wet. And the, the vet seems to think maybe not that, but... My other theory is that I, I used to have the indigos on a night drop, which I changed recently, but um, it may be that it was just too cool at night while he was trying to digest a rat and it didn't get fully digested. Either way, they're doing x-rays at the vet right now, and then they're going to call me, and then we're going to go from there. But in the meantime, in the meantime, in the meantime, I'm home for now. Just kind of going to wait that out and figure we go pop in on the family while... While that's happening, let's see what these guys are doing here. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't have that one thing oh. that I needed for so I'll be back. You guys are still here? <laughs> why, why can't you just have direct contact with us? I just don't understand. No. All these machines in between well, the machines. <laughs> We're already in different areas. As soon as the vet calls me, I'll bring you guys on for the call and we'll see what happens. Hello, what Daddy. Do you know. Daddy, Daddy. Oh, no, no, not that again. Let's not do that anymore. Daddy, Daddy. No, I liked Hello, Daddy better. Can you just talk to me like a normal funny. person? Are you funny? Do you think you're funny? <laughs> I love you. I got you. That's better. 
I like that better than Dagdo, Dagdo, Dagdo. I like chicken. Dagdo, Dagdo. We're to have something in his belly. Oh, is that the doctor still? But why are you leaving it there? I'm not leaving it there. We're just going to wait to get the phone call. To call the doctor? Mm hmm. Why, doctor? Because the doctor's taking a look and doing an x ray to see what's inside the belly. Why? What's x-ray? X-ray is when you, you shoot uh, radiation and it goes through skin so you can see what's underneath. It takes a picture of what is inside. That was the least scientific explanation I could possibly give. I'm thinking it's going to be a circle rock. A circle rock? Mm -hmm. You think that the snake swallowed a rock? Yeah. What do you think happened, T? A rock. I think that it's... Are you T? I think... A me meteor hit its belly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Noah, what do you think? I think that it's some kind of bacteria or virus. You do? Yeah. So we've got circle rock, meteor, or bacteria virus. What it, do you think it is? Maybe she swallowed one of her eggs. He didn't have any eggs. This is how my life feels right now at the beginning of the year. Like this floor. Lots of great things for potential building amazingness, but it's just kind of scattered all over the place. Uh, you got my back, T? I'm Noah. Thanks. I believe you were looking for this. Hi, Brian. It's Dr. Hey, Dr. So we took the radiographs, and, and you can tell there's definitely... Um, some sort of a mass effect there in the area where that bulge is, but I did not see anything that looked like um, like little pieces of bone fragment or anything like that that would imply that it's part of the rat that it ate before. And so I pa was palpating this thing, and while it, you can kind of move it back and forth, it well, it doesn't advance further towards the tail right. than where that like scar area is right there. Right. And it looks like there might be a couple ribs that might be broken there, but I don't know if that might be old trauma from, I mean, because there's a scar along the back. So do you know what, what happened with that? No, or, that, that wasn't there before. That's new. Yes. Uh, could there have been any kind of trauma, do you think? Uh, uh, not that, I mean, inside his enclosure, there's not really much for him to, I mean, unless somehow I accidentally did it when I was trying to help palpate, but I thought I was pretty, pretty gentle. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to press pretty hard, I think, to fracture there. And how, how old was the snake when you got it? Um, he was right around a yearling or so, so maybe uh, com coming up on a year when I got him back in 2019. Okay. And you're saying that that, that area of those scales that are on the back that look irregular, that wasn't there before. Right. So one of my concerns, so I, when I'm palpating this thing, it's it's not compressible. And I would expect that if it was something, say, like from bedding, that I should be able to break it up into pieces. Okay. And you can't really do it. It's pretty solid. Um, so I'm concerned about a couple things. One, that we could truly have a mass there. Um, I, I, if it was in the intestinal tract, I should be able to advance it. You know, usually I can, you know, palp just you know, palpate it and then squeeze things towards the cloaca. But this is, you know, definitely not moving past that area. Um, and I don't want to be too overly aggressive, you know, because I'm not sure that it's specifically something that's in the intestinal tract. But I'm thinking in order to really see what is going on here, you might need to have an ultrasound. Gotcha. Have yeah. you used him before? Yeah, I've brought snakes there in the past. He wasn't there today, which is why they referred me to you. I see. Okay. All right. So, yeah, he's going to be back tomorrow. So um, I left him a message, um, you know, so he can give me a call about the case and we can see whether or not it's something, um, you know, that he can ultrasound to figure out what's going on. So I think in the meantime, I don't think there's anything that you need to do. I probably wouldn't feed Sunset and Sunset could go, you know, without feeding for a little bit. It's going to be fine. Right. Um, and then um, hopefully a doctor will get in touch with me tomorrow. I gave him my personal cell because I'm off tomorrow. But um We'll discuss the case and, and try to figure out what would be the next best course of action for you, okay? Okay. Well, there you heard it from the doctor. I don't think there's anything I can elaborate on there. So I'm going to go pick up Sunset, bring her back here, and then hopefully doctor can get in touch with me tomorrow. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. That's as far as I can take you on this new snake journey today. 
I wish I had an answer today, but obviously we need an ultrasound. So 2021, here we go. Yay. <laughs> iPhone shots probably didn't do justice to how beautiful it was after the rain, but I had to take him anyway. Before I pull uh, Sunset out of the bag here and show you guys him one more time, I wanted to talk about, people had mentioned, well, why didn't I mention uh, Forrest in our last video for the, the review of 2020? I was just trying to keep it positive, basically, you know, focusing on all the good stuff that happened in 2020. Obviously, Forrest was freaking the biggest negative, not just of last year for me, but for a long time. That's why I didn't bring it up. It's been only recently that I could actually talk about him without getting all choked up. So anyway, I'm going to dedicate the recovery of this guy to Forrest. And hopefully it's not another junior. We're already 260 something in the hole now. So hopefully, you know, tomorrow we get more figured out. Just give you guys a little closer detail. Look at this. So there's where the lump is. And you can kind of see from this direction, it looks worse. It looks a little more blown up. And you heard everything the doctor said. And there's the uh, that scar tissue she mentioned. It's it, it wasn't there before either. It wasn't before this. And it's right there in that same spot too. So it's, if you can make it out, it's right, right here. These couple scales right along the spine, for whatever reason they got kind of whacked out. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know what's going on there. I don't like why my camera won't stay in focus on that. That's where it's at. Hopefully this guy pulls through. He looks good. He looks alert other than that. So uh, obviously I'll keep you guys updated. And as soon as I find out more, you guys will know more too. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And let's, uh, let's hope 2021 only goes, gets better from here. God damn.